to come in, Sam? There's not really a lot of room here. There's no room. Yeah, well... I lived in the East Village, so I don't need a lot of room. Yeah, cause, cause I make things too. Everything's so hard on everybody. I make things hard on everybody. Sam, I can go at least another nine rounds, but you have got to let me in. Please. There you are. Now I can see those kind eyes. So, George says that you needed a break from work. I, I, I didn't really want to work there anymore, because there's too many people. Okay. Then maybe we can find you a quieter job. Because remember, you have to keep on earning more money so you can get a new apartment, so Lucy can have her own room for when you get her back. I, I didn't really think about that because... Because Lucy doesn't need me anymore. She, she has a new family now. She doesn't need me anymore. Is that what she said? No, just... I just know! Well... That's the first stupid thing I've ever heard you say. Sam! You can get Lucy back. The court favors reunification. But Sam! You have to fight for her! I tried! I tried oh, real tried hard! Harder. You don't know! You don't know! I don't know what? You don't know what it's like to try and to try and to try and to try and to not get anywhere. Because you were born perfect. And I was born like this. And you're perfect. Oh, is that right? People like you, you don't know. People like me? People like you don't know what it's like to be hurted because, because people like you, you don't have feelings. People like you, you don't feel anything. You think you got the mark corner on human suffering? Let me tell you something about people like me. People like me feel lost and little and ugly and dispensable. People like me have husbands screwing someone else far more perfect than me. People like me have sons who hate them. And I've screamed, I've screamed horrible things to him. A seven year old. Because he doesn't want to get in the car at the end of the day and then he looks at me with such anger and I hate him then. I know I failed you. I know I've disappointed you. I know you deserve better, but get in the fucking car! It's like every morning I wake up and I fail. And I take a look around and everybody seems to be pulling up apart from me. No matter how hard I try, I'm not enough. No, you're enough. You're more than enough, lovely Rita. <laughs>